Hello, I'm back again. I'm Coralie. And I'm Charles. And we're the Stage Queens. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great name, isn't it? Now, where'd we go this week? We went to Wagga. I do like Wagga. It's you? called Wagga Wagga, actually. Oh, Wagga, Some people Wagga. do get very offended if um, you don't say Wagga Wagga. Do they? Oh, they certainly it do. It means something, and I can't remember. I it didn't hear it. It means crows picking up place or something. Oh, or, right. Mm. Well, it's much nicer than that, really. It's a very nice city. Is it a city? Yes, it is right. indeed. Yes. Well, we went to Wagga Wagga. And we stopped along the way at Blinky Bills. Is it Blinky Bills? Bullocky Bills. Bullocky Bills. We love Bullocky Bills. You get I... the best um, homemade pasta sauce there, I can tell you right now, and a great breakfast. Yes. Now, that was the next day we went there, wasn't it? I'm getting mm. very confused now. But it's a great place and it's clean. It's clean and the people smile at me and say hello, which is very rare. Now, well, they're more, they're, they're, because they're always in shock when this great big redhead comes to heading towards them, they don't know what to think. <laughs> I think that's probably how they recognise me, yes. Anyway, we went to Wagga Wagga to see the SFP production of Wagga It Takes Two. Now, explain what SFP means. Well, it's their surnames, and I can't think of what they are. I knew you'd forget. Yeah, I can't think. I had it on the program at one stage. Well, it's Searle, Foster and Parks. Oh, aren't you? Oh, isn't he clever? <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's complete and utter rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the show we saw was It Takes Two. It Takes Two. Now, It Takes Two is taken from the television station or the television show, It Takes Two. But, of course, theirs was Wagga, It Takes Two. So they didn't really steal the name. But it was a great concept, wasn't it? Oh, it's a brilliant concept. I am here, you know. You don't have to look at... <laughs> he keeps pointing at me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fantastic concept, and it's in the Capital Entertainment Centre, which is a great big room uh, with, with two bars and um, a lovely big stage with a fantastic band on which they which accompanied these people all night long plus they also had a great the high the wagga wagga high school dance group on as well yes and men's dance them. school as well and weren't those boys gorgeous they were lovely oh they were yeah, very good yeah, yeah. yeah anyway the way it works is that there was a person who was a a celebrity in Wagga who was actually one of them was a counsellor and then they were these important people. One was a baker. Yeah, it went accompanied by some other people. Who one was a farmer. Oh, shush. Who, I'm trying to explain it. Uh. Who could really sing. Now, it would be like Charles with... Joan Sutherland, really. He'd be the, the famous person and she'd be the singer. Yeah, but it was in Wagga Wagga, you couldn't tell who was who. No, well, you mightn't be able to tell if Joan <laughs> Sutherland and you got on. You'd never know. <laughs> anyway. But and... certainly be able to tell if Joan Sutherland and you got on. <laughs> that's for sure. Oh, she's got big hair. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And, a, and a big chin. <laughs> a very big chin. <laughs> Anyway, these people, they practised and they had some great singers and he says he couldn't tell one from the other, but they all tried very hard and they were very good, I thought. I love these boots were made for walking. Yes, it's he... always been my favourite yeah, song. Well, and tell them about what he had on his boots. Oh, yes, he had uh, flashing lights. It was gorgeous. Yeah, we didn't flashing know until the end because we were sitting up the back, but still we all put, they all pointed out to us and we all stood up. And who were we It's like giving sitting? him a standing ovation, really, for his boots. <laughs> Yes. And who were we sitting with? Oh, we had a couple of beauty queens with us. Real beauty queens. Yeah, not like us. No, no. real ones. Mm. They were called Miss Australia World, it was called, and Miss New South Wales World. Yes, Katie and Rachel. They're yes. our best friends now. Yes, and so I've decided I'm going to get looking like them now next year because they look absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, I it hope sticks this in, of course. Oh, like very that. thin, yeah. yes. Mm. Didn't have her crown on, though. Was most upset, but we saw in her handbag she had the big sash all across, didn't she? Oh, she did. Yeah, yes. she, she wasn't a bit pretentious. No, She was no. laying low because she had a very big day in Wagga Wagga that day. Yeah, she was visiting schools and shops and all yeah, sorts of things. she did a lot of good work, actually. Yeah, she did. She, she, anyway. Oh, 
I hope she gets Miss World World. I think that's oh, what Oh, I is. don't think that's going to happen. Don't God you? love her. Oh. No. Oh, well. I'm, I'm sure the competition's pretty stiff. Well, she Belinda comes Green small... didn't. She comes from near Wagga. Oh, does she now? Yes, no, yes. she doesn't. Oh, no, that's Cara. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Mm. Got my geography wrong, as usual. Anyway, this show is something that a lot of people could do because the best part about it was it was all for charity. Now, on your table... Why is that the best part? Well, because all the charities got all the money and it was great. Oh, it's nice for the charities, yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. But it wasn't uh, the best part. Oh, no, it wasn't the best part. The boots were the best part. No, the no. whole atmosphere was the best part. It, uh, and the guys, that sort of ran the thing. The three judges were very funny. The the person that pre presented them was very funny. Yeah, uh, it's a great thing that everyone should put on in each town, I think, because they do make money. I'll get back to this now. <laughs> they do make money for charity. They have little envelopes on the table, and as the acts come on, they say, oh, my charity is the Cancer Foundation. Well, they, they took her on for the labour way because they could see she was Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> but, and so at the it end It means of it, very well, though. Uh, yes, they do. Mm. And at the end of it, they, they put all the money and they gather it up and they work out who's got the best lot of money in their little envelopes. They win the charity one and then the judges judge and it's all for fun. It isn't real, but they try their best and Boots didn't win it. No, but I mean, the, 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 they're attracting really huge houses too because yeah. it was chock a block full and they're playing two nights in a row and that's two really full nights. And it's, so they it's make getting... over $30,000 for charity. I think that's fantastic. Oh, it is. It's really good. But we, we basically, we went to see the talent, really, didn't we? Yes, and there and was to... talent there. And the councillor was very good, the lady on the, on the council. I thought she was very good. She was doing something about ABBA, I think. Think. She was dressed up like those oh. Swedish girls. Oh, was she? Yes. Not Aboriginals. No. Abba. Abba. Okay. Abba. <laughs> anyway, but it was beautiful. And the boots won. They were real. Ooh, ooh, these boots are made But we magic. have a real magic moment too. I mean, which oh, woke the whole Will you shut up for a minute? <laughs> which, which completely blew us away. It was amazing. Uh, we were sitting there, quiet as mouse, having the odd little shardy. But all Being of a sudden, very this, good we were. We, we never said a word. No, nah, and then vroom, vroom, this huge motorcycle came on with these two people on it. Well, I nearly fell off my chair. He did. He nearly fell off his perch. Mm -hmm. And Spilt they the came through all the people and they were dressed as, you know... Bikies. Bikies. Mm -hmm. I think they had a sheep on there too, didn't they? Oh, they had something on there, but it was a real magic moment. And everyone thought up something exciting like that. But the boots were the best. Yeah, well, I mean, they had the competition was pretty stiff. It was stiff, and they'd rehearsed a long time. I think that they deserve every credit that they can get. And if you ever want to hear about it takes to Wagga Wagga, well, just just write to this station. They'll tell you. And don't forget to write to us if you've got a show, because we'd love to come and be able to talk about and it. And we're very nice, really, we are. And we have a great time wherever we go. And we enjoy everything. So see you next week. <laughs> Bye.